How's it going, everybody? Uh, it's Danny Gibbons here, our sleeping giant. Um, thanks for uh, hanging out with me tonight. Um, took last week off. I was going to do this uh, last week, but um, needed a little R&R. &R. Um, had I known what this week was going to be like, I likely would have just gone ahead and done this last week and taken this week off. Um, not really sure what to say or where to start but there are some links um, in the description of the video. Um, and there are some links also in the comment section. Um, I would encourage you to take a look at those and to donate what you can. Um, on those sites, there's also volunteering opportunities. Um, if you can do it safely, I would encourage you to get out. Um, and show strength and solidarity. Um, yeah, I, um, I recorded Inkwell in 2018 um, with my buddy Ross um, and Sebastian. What's up, guys? Um, out in El Paso in New Mexico. Um, and I had never done anything uh, that wasn't i would never written anything that wasn't personal from a standpoint of impacting me or significantly impacting someone uh, close to me. Uh, so uh, part of this was an exercise in trying to uh, say something because I felt like I had something to say, um, that I had to say something. Um, a lot of people tend to get um, upset with artists when they voice their opinions, uh, when what you are literally doing is when you're supporting an artist, you're saying, I like your voice and your take on life and your opinion. Um, so you're not paying attention if, if, if all of a sudden you think this artist should, there's, there's to, to quote Jason Isbell, there's no such thing as shut your mouth and play the song. You're, you're paying artists for their opinions. Um, and I have no delusions of grandeur that I have a large following by any means. I know this is mostly um, friends and family um, and coworkers, um, but whatever small audience I can reach and impact, um, I feel I have a responsibility to do that. Um, so Hope everyone is staying safe. Um, I, I really thought in 2018 these songs were going to be a snapshot of a much different time. Um, and it is more relevant today than it was then, as a lot of things are. Uh, we're coming to find out. Um, still trying to wrap my head around how uh, anti-fascist or a terrorist organization when the Ku Klux Klan is not considered a terrorist organization, but that's, I guess that's none of my business. Um, so here, um, at least the B side is a break, um, but the A side is what it is. So here is Inkwell, and this is the first track off that, and it's called Time of Troubles. Troubles I fear 
swirling close to the light. And it's time we lay in this mess of a bed. And we have made turn off the lights, exit the stage. Darkest of days, like the light that's all hope, suddenly starting to fade. The progress we've made, we're just turning the clocks back. Not doing all of this change we once had. We can feel the creation starting to rise. And they say, yeah, I do things myself. Romans can speak to that. When this time of troubles I feel, we're hurling closer to that. And it's time we lay in this mess of a bed that we have made. Turn off the lights. We lay in this mess of a bed that we have made. Turn off the lights, exit the stage. Sorry about the tuning on that one. I tune right before I come on, and then always, without fail, I wind up meaning to tune again. song all right hopefully we'll sound a little bit better now um Welcome to those who just joined. Uh, this song I actually have not ever played uh, live. Um, or at least in front of people, which I guess technically I still haven't played it live or in front of people. Um, I was trying to think when I uh, was writing some of the first batches of songs for Inkwell about um, a kind of Dylan-ish or classic um, folk tune um, was a rich tradition uh, in history of protest songs um, without you know uh, Irish and old folk music and uh, people like Woody Guthrie um, who I have this tattoo that says this machine kills fascists um, I guess since I have that maybe I'm a terrorist but um uh, I wanted to write a quote-unquote traditional folk song. Um, and so this is what I came up with. And uh, here it goes. Um, I'm going to play it a little different than it is on the record, but um, you'll get the gist of it. It's called uh, Another Protest Song. children 
Gathering round Come here to tell your love A country once proud The land of the free The home of the brave The best I once would give my own life to say Till the man was elected I couldn't believe He had no decorum or morality With 140 characters Said what he pleased Damn the truth or integrity There is more that unites us Than that divides us Fox News would have you believe That the war against Christmas And climate change Are both liberal conspiracies He ran on a promise to drain out the swamp Then appointed chairs from Goldman and Sachs And the oil and gas men lined up his pockets He had to pay all that debt back So he withdrew from Paris Tugging his heels on dirty coal and natural gas There is more that unites us and that divides us, neocons would have you believe. Oh, that carbon emissions aren't killing the planet, destroying the great barrier reef. There is more that unites us and that divides us. Donald Trump would have you believe. Oh, that black lives no matter. Liberals are terrorists. Cast like the whole damn country. There is more that unites us and that divides us. Our elders would have you believe. Oh, that my generation is so damn entitled. They killed the planet with grief. Thank you. Welcome to those who just joined. I'm playing my Inkwell record. I uh, just got done playing the second track. I uh, need to learn to... I need to learn a better day to change my strings then. next song is the last song on the A side. Um, uh, it's called Faux News, but obviously it's a play on Fox News. Um, it's a wonder why um, when the network and the president tell people uh, never to listen to anyone else because everyone else is lying, of course. Um, it's a wonder why we have um, the divisions that we have and the issues that are going on. Um, uh, this song was written as kind of a plea to um, certain members of my family um, to try to open up their eyes and ears and try to listen to things that are actually going on um, instead of blindly believing what a corporation tells you is great to make money. Um, so this is called Phone News. <laughs> Conversation must take place. 
is When your words just get in the way Pure facts become alternative Reality escapes It's not about red or blue Facts are something you can't dispute I just want you to tell the truth Your opinions are nothing more And your ignorance taking form Talking points from talking heads The highest corporate bid of sales Lies to feed your kids It's not about red or blue Facts are something you can't dispute I just want you to tell the truth On the day that the bombs begin to rain I suppose they might finally tell the truth Until then, hateful rhetoric is what they'll use I feel sorry for you Cause the mind is a terrible thing to lose Not about red or blue Facts are something you can't dispute and I just want you to tell the truth and On the day when the bombs begin to rain I suppose they might finally tell the truth Until then, hateful rhetoric is what they'll use And I feel sorry for you Cause the mind is a terrible thing to lose Thank you. Um, so like I said at the beginning, thanks uh, for those who just joined. Uh, like I said at the beginning, um, I don't know what to say. So there are some links in the description. Um, if you um, would, please donate what you can to any or all of those links. Um, I put it in the description of the video as well as the, the comment section. Um, give what you can um, to help out. Um, if you can help in other ways, do that. Um, if you're able to get out. Um, safely and go protest, do that. If you um, want to write and call, there's volunteer opportunities at a lot of those links as well, even if you don't live in the Minneapolis area or, or any other areas. Uh, we, all, we all live in an area that needs to wake the fuck up. So um, I don't really know what else I can do or say other than that. So I'll leave it at that as we end the A side of the record. Um, the B side, more more accustomed to my songwriting. Um, so uh, this is the song. I think this is the song. Yes, this is the song that starts the B side of the record. Um, it's kind of a, a prelude to the next song. Um, so I'll try to as seamlessly as possible, even though it involves putting the capo on um, go 
from the first part to the second part. Um, and this is for my wife, Emily. Um, so, hi, Emily. I love you. Come 
And I wrote that song for my wife, Emily, as well as the song before that for her. Um, when I was recording for her, I was trying to think of lyrics. Um, and my buddy Ross, who recorded and produced the record, um, was like, hey, man, maybe you don't need lyrics. Maybe it's an instrumental. Maybe it's an interlude. Um, and I feel like... Uh, I mean, obviously, when you listen to the record and you have to flip the record, it starts the B-side fresh. But if you're just streaming or whatever and listening to the record through, um, it's a much needed kind of separation point from the heavy political first half of the record to the more personal um, standard Danny Gibbons are sleeping giant side of the record. Um <laughs> However, that's a kind of a happy song, which isn't typical or sleeping giant Danny Gibbons writing, but hey, things change. Um, the, the concept for Inkwell, I, I had a whole bunch of different ideas in my mind and I, I was trying to do so much. Um, and I thought even about not even releasing it at one point, um, just because of frustration and self-doubt and, and everything else that was going on. Um, and I had a talk with a good friend of mine and said, it doesn't need to be anything. It, it, it is what it is. It's these songs at this time, at this point in your life. Um, and that's where I kind of got the concept Inkwell from is just, it had been a while since I had recorded or put out a record. Um, and it's almost like getting out everything that I had um, so that I could start again, almost. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm in the process of writing a new record. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to record it anymore, but um, I will be recording it. Um, might be really sooner, just given everything that's going on. Um, but um, who knows? Uh, so yeah, that's a little more about Inkwell. For those who just joined, thanks. Uh, welcome. Um, there are links in the description and in the comments section that you should check out and um, give what you can. Um, there's also volunteer opportunities in there as well. Um, the next song on the, the record is from my buddy Gabe, um, who passed away uh, when I wrote, or before, obviously, I wrote this song. Um, and this one is probably the first in what will be many songs, ultimately, um, uh, that I'll write for Gabe. Uh, but this is called One of My Kind. And uh, a little trivia fact, um, one of my kind is a reference to Connor Oberst, um, who's a musician who's had his own bands. He's played in Bright Eyes, Monsters of Folk, um, solo. Um, he's done a lot of stuff, but uh, he recorded two albums at a place called Sonic Ranch, uh, which is where I recorded uh, my 2014 EP Vices. Um and he recorded two albums there, the uh, Connor Oberst and the Mystic Valley Band. Um, and he made a documentary about it. And it was called One of My Kind. And it references a lyric in one of those songs. Um, Gabe and I had a night where we talked about life and had too much to drink and smoked an endless amount of cigarettes um, and watched that documentary. Um, so it's kind of a, a nod to that Um and talking about, you know, 
they were we were going to tour and do what they did and all the stuff so um i miss gabe a lot um so for those of you who knew him uh this one is for gabe uh it's called one of my kind <laughs> at the end for those who stuck around thanks for sticking around um i appreciate y'all um i might be back at some point and do a few more of these in the future um who knows um right now i just um i don't know um i don't know so uh like i said uh for those who just joined 
there's links in the description. Um, there are links uh, in the comments section. Uh, please check those out. Please give what you can. Um, please do what you can. Um, so, um, like I said in the beginning, um, I, I know that I can see in the chat, most of you are my friends. I, I am not speaking to um, an audience that doesn't already know this, um, but uh, it is what it is. So um, until I, I know what else to say, I am, I don't know, now I'm rambling. Uh, this is a song I wrote for a buddy of mine. Uh, this one's for you, Keith. Um, I haven't played this in a while, so hopefully I don't fuck it up. Um, this one's called See You Next Tuesday. I give up, I give in. Now you force me, it's a sin Let's try that one more time Alright appreciate it. Um, thanks for tuning in. I know this one was a little longer. Um, you can listen to Inkwell on all of the streaming services. Um, please check out that link in the description or all of those links in the description. Um, give what you can. Amazon Music, all, all of the musics, um, except for Pandora. Man, I don't know why. Um, so 
Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I appreciate y'all and I love y'all and I want you to stay safe. Um, yeah, that's it. Have a great night, y'all.